Good morning, ESM. Hey, W. The WR Richmond presiding here. Yes, today I'm promoting mock trial. Yes, mock trial will be starting very shortly. What is mock trial? It's one of the best kept secrets here in the school. It's a club that uh, I'm the advisor for. We get a court case and we prepare it for months and then we go into competition the end of February, early March. It re involves reading and writing and good speaking skills. So, uh, it, I'm looking to have a practice once a week from like four to six. So it is some serious commitment, but we do work in some fun. If you're interested, this is uh, the, the classroom code, POKEY7MN, POKEY7MN. I, I can't make this stuff up, okay? Uh, but we're having a meeting on Thursday at 3.30. This, excuse me, we're having a meeting this Thursday in my room, B11 at 3.30. Hope you show up. Go mock trial. Woo! Good morning, ESM. Before break, Marvel released a bunch of new dates for phase four of the MCU starting from the end of this year through 2023. Instead of boring and overwhelming you with all the information and talking about all of the movies and shows, I'll be sharing only some of my favorite movies or the one I'm looking forward to the most after news and announcements. ESM alum Olivia Battetti goes on Wheel of Fortune tonight. The 22-minute game show is one of the longest-running American game shows with over 7,000 episodes spanning the mid-70s to now. Being cast to be on the show is an incredible honor. Tune in to root for Olivia tonight. Early Sunday morning, DeWitt Police Sergeant noticed a car pass through the intersection of West Manlius and hit a telephone pole. When the sergeant went to check on the victim, Cameron Farrier, he and his car were covered in blood. Farrier has been stabbed. The sergeant called the ambulance where Farrier was taken to the hospital and died. According to investigators and security footage, Farrier had gotten into a verbal argument with another man, Ortez Madison, at the West Manlius Burn Dairy, when Ortez later stabbed Farrier in the face and chest. Farrier then got into his vehicle to attempt to drive to the hospital. Madison was charged with multiple offenses such as first-degree murder, third-degree criminal possession of a weapon. Anthony Broadwater was recently ex exonerated after spending 16 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Ayla Siebold, best-selling author and rape victim, mistakenly chose Broadwater when she was asked to identify her attacker 16 years ago. Broadwater wasted years of his life in prison and burst into tears when hearing he was exonerated. Broadwater's lawyer said the state of New York is taking responsibility for his wrongful conviction and plan to seek financial compensation for him. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you like to laugh? Do you like stand-up comedy? Are you a stand-up comedian? Well, if you said yes to any of these questions, you should come to the Comedy for Care comedy show that is being put on by DECA. The show is December 2nd from 6.30 to 9.30 at the Golden Spike Pub in East Syracuse. Tickets are $30 and it includes a meal. There are only 30 tickets left, so act fast. By the way, I heard that Mr. Richmond is going to be the headliner and he's going by his stage name, Uncle Richie, so you definitely don't want to miss that. If you would like to buy a ticket, go see Mr. Anzalone in B4. Today there will be a very brief but mandatory meeting for all ESM football players in grades 9 through 12. This includes seniors who will be graduating. This meeting will be held in B23. Once again, this meeting will be, a very, will be very brief. Please see Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. All right. My favorite couple, Tom Holland and Zendaya, are returning to the big screen with Spider-Man No Way Home being released December 17th, three days after my birthday. This movie and the Disney Plus WandaVision series both tie in directly with the Doctor Strange sequel also coming out next year. If you watched the trailer, you would know that we're going to see the return of some pretty iconic villains like Doc Ock, Doctor Octopus, Electro, the Green Goblin, and Sandman. Benedict Gumber Cumberbatch is reprising his role as Doctor Strange in the sequel, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, being released May 6th of next year. This movie is meant to be Marvel's first sort of like thriller adventure movie, so I'm pretty excited to see something new get added into the series. Elizabeth Olsen will also be a part of this movie as the Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. We'll see Point Break in action again in Thor Love and Thunder coming out July 8th. Tessa Thompson will return as Valkyrie and Natalie Peterson is returning to the MCU as female Thor. 
The president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, confirmed that Christian Bale will play the villain, Gore the God Butcher, which I'm pretty excited to see. Now, there isn't much thunder and lightning in our radar, but we have been seeing some snow lately. Let's go check out our weekly forecast. Today we will have a high of 37 and a low of 34 degrees. It's going to be cloudy with a morning high of 7. <laughs> it's going to be cloudy with a 70% chance of snow. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy in the morning and a cloudy in the evening with a 44% chance of rain. There will be a high of 39 and a low of 33 degrees. Thursday is going to be rainy with a high of 49 and a low of 32. Black Panther Wakanda Forever comes out November 11, 2022. As many of you know, Chadwick Boseman unfortunately passed away last year in August of colon cancer, stage 3 colon cancer. But Fage has said that Black Panther will not be recast, which I think is the right thing to do. Uh, no other actor could have the same profound effect as Chadwick did portraying the character. And last but definitely not least, The Marvels is set to come out February 17th of 2023. Brie Larson will return as Carol Dunn. Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, joined by Iman Vellani as Miss Marvel and Tiana Paris as a grown-up Monica Rambeau. Miss Marvel will also be getting her own Disney Plus series. Before we wrap up today, let's catch up with our latest sports. The girls volleyball team beat Oneida last night, winning three straight sets. Congratulations to Leah Rem for being named to fourth team All-State for girls soccer. The Texas Rangers and star shortstop Corey Seager have agreed to terms on a 10-year, $325 million contract. And the New York Mets have signed former Cy Young winner Max Scherzer signed a three-year, $130 million contract. And reigning Cy Young winner Robbie Ray signed with the Seattle Mariners for a five-year, $115 million contract. In NFL news, the Washington football team beat the Seattle Seahawks 17 to 15. T Taylor Heineke threw for 223 yards and one touchdown. Former Seahawk J.D. McKissick had two touchdowns against his former team. The men's SU basketball team hosts Indiana tonight in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. The boys and girls bowling teams both have a game at 3.30 tonight against CNS. And the wrestling team faces Chittenango at 6 p.m. And I'm Aiden with your sports. Like I said before, I'm super excited to see Natalie Portman in Thor once again after her little absence. And um, really excited to see what they do with Monica Rambeau. There's also a whole bunch of other movies I didn't talk about or mention, like Eternals, which came out a few weeks ago, I believe. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. And as of September 10th, there are several other untitled films being released between 2023 and 2024, plus a bunch of television shows coming out. But if I talked about all of them, it'd take about the same amount of time it would to watch all the Marvel movies and shows combined. So that's all I have for y'all today, even though you can find a bunch of more in detailed information online if any of those other movies I didn't talk about sparked your interest. So for me and everyone else here on The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday, and stay tuned for tomorrow's show on Advent Calendars with Nolan and Alex.